Hey, on Saturday it's 6.30 p.m. and I've been doing PT all day, doing diet plans, workout plans and probably served about 30, 40 people today. It's just been absolutely non-stop. Most people um, I've worked with, I've worked with on a one-to-one -one basis and over the many years of being a trainer, I've also come into contact with a lot of people who feel very uncomfortable and self-conscious about actually going to the gym. So this kind of answers the question in the video. Why do many people uh, look at online personal training? Yes, it's become very popular, very fashioned, and I've talked about it in previous videos, but naturally, if someone's self-conscious, has insecurity issues, and doesn't feel very comfortable in going to a gym environment where it's quite often not lycra clad and you've got lots of people like myself wearing tight lycra like tops etc all trying to look good and posing in front of mirrors and whatever else yeah of course it's going to be very off putting and over the years I've met a lot of people who are very self conscious and that's why most people go to the gym and look after themselves the underlying reason for many people trying to look after themselves and going to the gym is because of confidence issues and anyone who goes to the gym to improve their body also has indirect uh, benefits for the mindset as well so by going to the gym it, it really does help with your general well-being and your confidence building but quite often or not many people find it's a, it's that first barrier it's that how do you get through that door first and foremost so yeah, okay, some hardcore bodybuilders probably watching this video or some fitness enthusiast who thinks they know it all's watching this video, but I've at first hand worked with many people who are excessively self-conscious. I've even worked with clients who have had to go to their own home. I used to do mobile personal training. It's how I started as a trainer, in fact. I started off mostly doing mobile one-to-one -one and I was going to people's homes. And mainly because I had clients who are time poor but also, um, for self-conscious purposes, uh, many women especially didn't feel very comfortable in going to a male-dominant environment. So there's no harm in working with a trainer online. Just make sure that you work with someone who's got credentials and experience in working what you're, you're doing. Um, also, time can be an issue as well. I find that I work quite heavily with... Uh, a lot of entrepreneurial types, a lot of uh, characters who are traveling a lot. Uh, I've got a few clients who are always traveling around the globe and they're, they're doing their different working activities. And I do find that this type of person, they're a busy character, they're a busy individual. Now, I always like to work with people on a one-to-one -one basis as much as an online perspective. And in many cases, I've worked with clients where they've come to me for the first ever session and they've traveled as far as three, four hours to get to me and then I've worked with them online ever since for for the benefit of time really and that's one thing that I value more so than ever is, is time. So busy professionals especially uh, find themselves uh, short of time and quite often not they just need to get straight to the point. So for challenging plateaus, for challenging uh, your plan may it be workouts, nutrition, uh, questioning your lifestyle habits, etc. Generally, looking at uh, different elements that can help with your particular sport or goal. Naturally, it makes sense to uh, work with a trainer. It keeps you on track and it keeps you uh, focused. So, I'm doing the WBFF London in May. I'm also doing the Toronto show as well. That's the 10th year anniversary in Canada. And I've got a coach, a prep coach for enough, and that is my cousin. I'm working with him and he's going to help me all the way up to these shows. And I've also got a, uh, a coach who's going to be helping me in more poses as well. And I've got business coaches. I've also got a whole um, group of fellow entrepreneurial friends who question what I do and it's, it's great to have that circle so don't be afraid to search for a coach we all need coaching at times and most importantly if you have to consider the likes of having an online personal trainer 
don't beat yourself up about it. And equally, if you're um, wanting to make that first step into fitness, then it's better starting now at doing something at least at home and perhaps outside than it is doing nothing at all. And on a final note, you're always outlap the person sitting on the couch if you're moving and active. Have a great Saturday guys.